All right then gang, so now I wanna show you how to use icons in Material UI. Now to use icons, we have to install another package. If we scroll down here, and by the way, I'm on the getting started guide right here. If we scroll down, we can see we have to use npm install Material UI forward slash icons because these don't come automatically with the core package. So I'm gonna copy this and come over to my project. Let me close that, open up a terminal, and I'm gonna paste it in to install these icons. And now we've done that, we can use icons in our project. Now, Material UI gives us access to all the different icons in the Google Material Design specification. And if you wanna choose an icon or just see what icons are on offer, all you have to do is search for Material icons like this, click on this top one, and this is gonna show you all the different icons we can have. So AC unit, alarm clocks, etc. You can search for icons up here, for example, arrow or whatever you want. And there's also different variations of the icons as well. So this is filled. We also have outlined ones, rounded, two-tone, etc. So I'm gonna go with the outlined one and I wanna use this one right here, this icon, AC unit outlined. So if I click on that, it shows us how we need to import it right here. So I could copy that and come over to my create components and I can just paste it in right here. So now all I need to do is use this as a component where I want to output this icon. So let me come down to the bottom. I'm gonna delete all of this stuff from the last lesson and I'm going to do a little comment to say icons. And then below this, I'm just going to output this thing right here. So I can copy that and I can open up my tag and close it off like so. Now we don't need an opening and closing tag. We can just have one, which is self closing. All right then. So if I save this and preview over here now, we can see this icon right here. Awesome. Now what I'm going to do is place a BR tag just above the icons so they go to the next line below the button like that. Okay, so that's the standard icon, but we can also pass props into these icons as well. So let me just duplicate this and I can pass in a color prop so I could set that equal to secondary. And if I save this, it should be that pink color right here. Awesome. So as well as that, we can also specify things like the font size. So if I say font size and set it equal to large and save this, then we can see that this one is larger than this one. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this right here and change this to small so you can see the difference. So this one's large, this is the default, and then this is small, which is smaller than the default one. Cool, so let's just duplicate this three more times and I'm just gonna change the colors right here. And again, these are theme colors and we can also pass in action as a color, error as a color and down here, I'm gonna say disabled. So if I save this and preview, you can see we have this one, which is the action one. Then we have this one, which is the error one and then disabled, which is a light gray, awesome. And again, we can customize these different colors and we'll see how to do that when we talk about themes later on. Anyway, that's the icons in a nutshell. We can also apply icons to buttons. So let me just comment out all of this for now. And what I want to do is apply an icon to this button right here. Now you can apply one at the start on the left and at the end. So let me say, for example, start icon. This is the prop we use on the button to have one at the start and we set that equal to an icon component. And then for the end, we'd say end icon, and we'd set that equal to another icon component. Now I'm just gonna search for these icons that I wanna use right here. So I'm gonna search for one called send, and these are gonna be filled icons. So we'll go with this one right here. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it over here up above. And in fact, we can get rid of this one because we're not gonna use that anymore. So I'll paste that one in. And I'm also gonna look for an arrow one. So it's called keyboard arrow and it's keyboard arrow right, this one right here. So again, let me copy this import and paste it down here like so. So I'm gonna use this right here as the start icon. So I'm gonna say send icon like so. And I'm gonna say down here, keyboard, arrow, right icon. That was this one right here. 
So let's now preview this. I'm going to save it, come over here to the browser, and we can see we have an icon on the left now and an icon on the right. So I don't really want this start icon, so I'm going to get rid of that and save it. And now we just have the icon on the right. Awesome. Cool. So we will be using icons a lot more in the future of this playlist. But again, dead simple to use. All you need to do is, first of all, install the icon package, then import whatever icons you need up at the top. And then finally, just use a tag or component to output that icon. Dead simple.